Kerry Man is a lively Irish bar and restaurant serving up delicious food, drinks, and even performances and game nights. It's a little piece of Ireland right in the heart of River North. Bar manager Brendan Burke uh, joins us now to shake up some St. Patrick's Day cocktails. Mm -hmm. And I also hear you pour a good Guinness. I do pour a good Guinness. Uh -huh. I actually won the Guinness Pour competition oh. back in 2018. What, so. wait, what takes, what's involved in the Guinness Pour competition? It's uh, really attention to detail. Is it? Making okay. sure you're placing the glass the correct angle, pouring to the certain, you know, top of the glass and mm. let it settle. And then top it off, don't top it off too much. You don't want it spilling over the edges and crying. But oh, you want it to be perfect. And you won. So. Congrats. Yeah. Slancha. 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 All right, so what are we making? Today we're going to make two classic Irish cocktails. Okay. okay. We'll start with the Tipperary. Okay. It's uh, one of the first cocktails that was used using Irish whiskey. Oh, really? Back in the wow. day. So mm -hmm. I will make you guys one. It starts off with, we'll do some Powers Pot Still Irish Whiskey. Okay. Mm. I don't think I've heard of that before. Mm -hmm. This is one of the classic Irish whiskeys. Okay. Very good. Good price point on it, too. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll go with Green Chartreuse. It's actually a French herbal liqueur. Okay. Mm. So it brings a bit of herbaceousness to the cocktail. Chartreuse. It's green. Mm -hmm. It's green. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Fits the, fits there the day go. for sure. It matches. We'll do a little sweet vermouth in here as well. Okay. A little fortified sweet wine. Oh. And, we, and Amy was noting there is no shaker here. There's, so. I was, yeah. No yeah, shaker no, in this one. This is no, no. Now, why aren't you shaking this one? Is it citrus? This one we're going to stir. So okay. typically, when there's no citrus, okay. we'll stir it. You stir it. Okay. Okay. And uh, we have some bitters here. Two dashes Angostura of Angostura bitters. bitters. I, I mean, right. that label always cracks me right. up because it's never, never. been yeah, I know, that's always, my design. It's right mm -hmm. that's Absolutely. Nice. And we'll do three dashes of orange bitters. Oh, good. Oh, nice. Oh, Tipperary. Yes. Tipperary, named after the county. Tipperary, okay. Ireland. Okay, look at you. Look at and we'll you. do a little bit of ice in there. Pardon my hands. Okay. It's, it's unbelievable to me how many Irish folks there are in Chicago. It's such a huge population. So many. So my parents moved here in the 80s. Yeah. And uh, all of my friends growing up were from other Irish parents who moved okay. here. And so a good group of my friends are all Irish, first generation Irish okay. Americans. Wow. All right. Unbelievable. All right, so as you start that, tell us about the Carryman. So you were also named one of the best bars yes. in one Chicago. Of, yes, we were right downtown, the heart of River North. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, been open almost 20 years now. Mm. And this weekend, the biggest weekend of the year. Yep. Of course. I guess stir, here they are. Oh, yeah. Pardon me, pardon my no, reach. No problem. We'll be uh, live music Thursday. Uh, we'll do DJs Friday and Saturday, and then we'll have live mm. music again on Sunday for St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. And then you crash on Monday. <laughs> and then crash on Monday, and don't <laughs> yeah, stay in bed all day. Yes. But you guys actually stay busy all year round, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. All year round. We have a beautiful patio in the summertime. Mm -hmm. Winter, we have a good upstairs bar. Great menu. Mm -hmm. Great menu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're we doing corned beef and cabbage. Our yeah. chef, he has his own recipe. He sous vide the corned beef for oh, about wow. 24 Ooh, hours. So, so who the heck is that? Sous vide. Sous vide. Jesus. Cooks it in, in uh, hot water for about 24 hours. Makes oh. it real tender, really renders all the fat out of the, oh, the corned beef and, okay. and it makes it delicious. Now we'll do a little orange, express orange on there. Okay. And, Fancy. and there we Fancy. are. If you guys oh, want to right. taste there. Yeah. We do. We do. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. Slancha. 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 Oh, see, you should have made yourself one. Yeah. Oh, I'll be Ooh. having plenty later. That's for sure. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, that is delicious. Ooh. I feel all the orange and everything. Oh, I like there. that. All right, so you say you can do a good pour, but can you teach two of us how to make a good Irish coffee? Yeah. I think I can. Okay. Oh, okay. I think I can. One okay. of my favorite cocktails of all time, the Irish coffee. Okay. So right. I will let you guys step in here. We have Teeling Irish Whiskey. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's Irish coffee we measure at the bar, but when you're doing it at home, you can, okay. uh, you can pour as much. So try to do an ounce and a half or whatever you think will be good for the morning. That's about, about perfect. Is that about perfect? That's about perfect. That's good. Okay. 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 Mondays are hard, man. Okay. You just have a time all change. Right. All right. Well, I'm not good at eyeing it. I'm trying to go with what go. you got. Hey, okay. It's the oh. right oh. week. Oh. 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 Well, add a little more now. Okay. All right. So we got the. Now we have over here a little bit of uh, a house made syrup, which is just um, like brown sugar, it's turbinado sugar, and water. Okay. Oh. Okay. Good. Equal parts two to one. So if you do a cup of sugar, it'll be about half a cup of water. Heat it and just dissolve all the dissolve all the sugar. Okay, and make it enough. Try about a half an ounce of that. Okay. Or if you like it sweeter, you go a little bit more. Okay, half ounce. Uh, yeah. Oh, that looks great. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm actually there you gonna go. go. I'm not a big sweet person, so. Oh, I'll okay. Like I'm a big sweet person. Okay. Ooh, ooh. And then we will top it off with our our coffee is just in that pot there. Yeah. Oh, that was it. 
So that's wait, it. Now wait, wait. we have it a little stir once the coffee's okay, in, okay. and we're gonna top it off with cream. So leave okay. about leave, uh, you know leave few, room for yeah, cream. a little room for cream there. What kind of coffee is this? Just just freshly brewed uh, Ooh, coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just oh, any any specific type? No. Uh, uh, you know, know, is a nice those? coffee that you would drink at home. Okay. All right. You know, the better quality of the ingredients. Right? Okay. Yeah, then give them a little stir. Get the sugar <laughs> incorporated in there. All right. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. And I. I after the Irish coffees, we'll be pouring plenty of Guinness in the Carryman too this weekend. Oh, we just got, yeah. We just got right. our order today, about 50 kegs worth, so. Oh, oh my man. goodness, 50 okay. kegs. That is perfect. Now, I have the... a little cream there in the, that... yes, Okay, perfect. I was wondering what that was. A little <laughs> trick for at home. Okay. You mm -hmm. can use a protein shaker, give your heavy whipping cream, a good quality heavy whipping cream, a good good shake, Yeah. Mm -hmm. and you pop it off, and it should just float. Is there like a blender ball in there too? This one, no, but you can do a blender ball. It'll help it a move a little faster. Okay. You don't want to whip it too much, because it'll, Oh, you oh and it just stays right on top. Yeah. See, there's the pour. That's the difference. There's okay. the pour. There and then last but not least, the touch that puts it above the rest. Okay. A little nutmeg on top. Oh, oh. And you're talking oh. some fresh, fresh well, can nutmeg. Can I do this? I've, I've, I've always wanted to do this. Okay, so we do it like go. this. Don't grate and your just fingers a little, in there. Yeah, just over the top. Perfect. Do mine too. I don't want to grate my fingers. <laughs> Is that enough? That's yeah, perfect. Okay, how much would you like, ma'am? Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, oh, beautiful. Okay. It's it beautiful. 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 Okay, there Love you it. go. Very nice. Ooh, it's it's nice. I didn't know this was some little nutmeg. It's an action. And uh, cilantro. Cilantro. Yeah. All right, Maybe. let's see. Mm. Oh. That is good. That is good. When do you drink That's Irish coffee? In That's the morning? Good. At night? Like. I'm not going to tell you when they're supposed to, but in the morning, on, on Saturday and Sunday, in the morning is fine with me. Okay, I was like, because at night I would be, that I'd be wired, would be able to fall asleep. Yeah, you can, you can make it with decaf as well. Woo. Oh, that's true. Okay, good point. This oh, is great. Oh, man. I should have had some of that corned beef and cabbage before right? I did. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, we saw the other information for the caramel there over in River North, so mm -hmm. check them out. Yeah, All come right, see us this, this is weekend. delicious. Yes. I need do you have reservations? You have to have reservations? Uh, we actually are doing cover at the door, ten dollars on Saturday. That's it. And just, that's it. In River and then North? come in with we'll the music go going, the party going. We'll be oh, we'll be yeah. rocking and rolling in there. Ooh, so yeah. you'll see me and a few other. Fantastic, Brendan. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thanks for having me.